and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking all about 90 Day Fiance the other way. This is season three, episode seven, and the title of this episode is the other woman in this video we will be talking all about jenny and submit but before we get started my besties do your girl a big favor and give this video a big thumbs up share subscribe plus hit that bell so you will be notified on all future uploads coming out from this channel now um, we're gonna go ahead and get straight into talking about jenny and submit i do have my handy dandy phone here i will be reading from my notes so i can stay on topic and get all these points out that i want to discuss in regards to these two in this episode so Jenny and Submit, they head to their family counseling session. And this bright idea came from Jenny. Jenny is the one that brought this to Submit that they should do family counseling and then couples counseling. And so... Of course, Samit thought it was a great idea and that it would be something else that he could do to avoid actually marrying her. Any extra loop and hoop he can take Jenny through in order to avoid getting to marry, actually marrying Jenny and walking down the aisle, he's willing to do it. So yeah, they, they all agree. And he, I, I'm assuming behind the scenes, posed this to his parents and they agreed as well. So once they, in this scene, once Jenny and Samit arrive to the counselor's office, uh, the, the parents are already there. Once the counselor gets started, it is a woman and she's like, you know, how do you feel about seeing, she's posing this question to Samit's parents. How do you feel about seeing these two together? Meaning Jenny and Samit. And the mother's basically like, I don't have any feelings about it. That's basically her response. She doesn't have any feelings about seeing them together and says that there's nothing good that comes to mind. Now, his father expressed that his problem comes from the age difference. So that is where his concern is stemming from. Samit's mother tells her son to leave Jenny alone. Now, it seems to me as though when Samit was translating to Jenny what was being said, that he too was in agreement with them. Now, I don't think Samit wants to be with Jenny, honestly. And I say this every recap. He just doesn't have the ball to break up with her simple just doesn't want to be alone wants to continue to live off of her benefits so yeah that's my thoughts the counselor begins to speak to Samit's mother about giving him the freedom to live his life his way and Samit's mother throws in a curveball she says that her son cannot marry Jenny until she sees and learns how to be a good Indian wife but Jenny is an Indian now, she can learn some of the customs and try to implement those things into her marriage, but she is not Indian, like newsflash. Uh, but I do believe that she can learn some, you know, customs. I think that definitely would be good. So she goes on to say that they are going to ship to Jenny and Samit's house for some time. I honestly think that this is just to push Jenny out, just to ensure that these two don't stay together another year. They don't make it another year. Just hearing his mom talk during this counseling session is just giving monster-in-law vibes. I don't know if any of you have seen that movie with Jennifer Lopez, but it's definitely giving me those type of vibes, monster-in-law. Now, what was funny to me when watching this episode with them was that she's so willing now to teach Jenny when at first it was like they can't be together because of society because society wouldn't accept them, because society doesn't like it, because if society knew that they were together or that the family was supporting it, if they were ever in need, society wouldn't come to their rescue. First it was society, society, society. Now it's, you're so willing to teach her how to uh, become a good Indian wife or she has to learn how to become a good Indian wife in order for you to be okay with your son being with her. So it, it's very confusing. I'm like, which one is it? Which one is it? Is it society or is it the fact that she's not Indian? What is it? So, um, so his mother is like, if she feels as though Jenny is capable of being an Indian daughter-in-law, then she will consider. So Jenny's not on board, but Samit seems to be excited. His mother says that she wants to live with Samit because she has an attachment to him and that he is very attached to her as well. So they cannot live without him. So there's a lot of things. It has nothing to do with being a good Indian daughter-in-law and all this stuff. It's the attachment, not want to let go of her son. And that's really all it is. Like, I don't think it has anything with society and all this stuff. It's the attachment. 
it is the attachment. She welcomed Jenny into her home with open arms. So if it was skin color, then then she wouldn't have allowed her into her home in the first, like the get go, like from jump. So yeah, I, I don't think it's skin color. I really think it's just the attachment to her son, not want to let him go. And it could be because Jenny is not Indian and she wants her daughter-in-law to be Indian. That just, that's a possibility. So yeah, but um, so Samit tells Jenny that this is what he wants, right? When the mother says they're gonna move in or they would like to move in, he says, this is what he wants. He translates it, translates that to Jenny. Jenny's like, heck no, no, um, I don't know about that. And so then when Samit starts talking back to his parents, he's like, we would love to welcome you. It's like, but what did she just say? So to me, he's not willing to grow up either. And it seems to me he is attached to his family. He is used to just being taken care of and coddled. So in that case, she needs to let him go because he's not really ready to be a man. Now, Jenny, in my opinion, she's very foolish. I always say this and she needs to pack her bags because I feel like love should not be this hard. Of course, you have the ups and downs of a relationship and the things that you have to work through, but this right here is just too much. It's just too much for her to be with him. And then it started off on a wrong foundation because he lied, like he catfished or he lied about what he looked like. He has a problem with lying. He admitted that in the previous episode. So I just really don't think, I just think this is another thing uh, that they're going to take Jenny through. And I don't really see it helping their situation. I think nothing that this woman can do will be good enough. The mother will never accept Jenny. I just don't see it happening. And I'll be very surprised if it turns out to where she then be begins to become close with Jenny and they create a relationship, a healthy relationship, mother, daughter, or I guess she would say, daughter-in-law relationship I just don't see it happening so I'm very curious to know what you all thought on 90 Day Fiance the other way this is season three episode seven the title was the other woman and we talked all about Jenny and Samit in this episode give this video a big thumbs up share subscribe plus hit that bell so you will be notified on future uploads as always I thank you for your patience love and support of this channel and myself and I look forward to talking to you guys in that comment section down below and seeing you in the next video. Peace.